Welcome to the Clap Back with Julie Roginski, where we take Twitter back from the trolls, so haters may hate, but I clap back. The trolls were out in full force when I tweeted, quote, Every single self-respecting news organization should boycott Spicer's briefings until he issues an apology. I tweeted that after the White House froze out media organizations that President Trump has slammed as fake news. And President, Press Secretary Sean Spicer held a gaggle with reporters behind closed doors where he handpicked which news organizations could attend. Not included were the New York Times, newspaper, CNN, and Politico. This prompted me to tweet, quote, I'm on a rival news network, but I still have to ask the question of the White House. Which story of CNN's has been proven to be false? Then John tweeted, quote, Julie, all of them, try paying attention for a change. All of them, really, even the Malaysia Airline one? And then I wanted proof, and Mark chimed in and said, the Martin Luther King bus. Mm, no, that wasn't them. That was a different news outlet, but okay. Then Michael so kindly reminded me, come on, Julie, it's the tone, conjecture. What is interjected that is so fake and misleading? You are not naive. Well, I'm not naive, but you still haven't given me any, um, any evidence. But thanks, Mike. Don't know what I'd do without that nugget. So here's the difference between fake news and real news. Here's some fake news. I'm a six-foot-tall blonde. No matter how much I want to wake up and be six-foot-tall blonde tomorrow, I'm still 5'3", and I've got dark hair. Real news is when you report something that happens to be factually accurate. And if you don't like what that factual accuracy represents, it doesn't mean that it's fake. All it means is that you don't like it. That's the difference. And every time our president, any of his supporters, anybody else takes a piece of information that has been sourced adequately and reported on by a major news organization and calls it fake news just because it doesn't appeal to your narrative or his narrative, that just makes you look weak. And in all the different tweets that were sent to me, I combed through every single one of them when I asked for an example of this almost a week ago. Not one person could tell me what a piece of fake news from CNN was other than just news that didn't make the president look so good. So look, just because you don't like the news does not, does not, does not mean it's fake. I'm Julie Roginski with Fox News.